and we should be on. Hello, everybody. My name is Tommy Song, and I am here to present to all of you about the student perspectives of Canvas. This meeting is brought to you by Bruin to Bruin, um, and we're very excited to help you learn this amazing tool. Canvas has been trusted by a ton of colleges, and it is a very um, agile platform that combines the functions of both Google Classroom and, um, and Scoot. So a little bit of introduction. My name is Tommy Song. I am a senior at Branham High School. I am the president of Bruin to Bruin, which is the tutoring club on campus. Uh, you can find more about us at our website, bruintobruin.weekly.com. Follow our Instagram at b2branham or look at our YouTube channel at Bruin to Bruin. So here is the brief meeting outline. So for the first 10 minutes, I will be giving you an example of what you can expect to see on Canvas. Um, again, this meeting will be recorded and available for your future references. After the 10 minutes, I will be st I'll stay online for another 15 at the end to help you with any questions and I will try my best to answer all of them. Um, first, I want to encourage all of you to sign up with um, Canvas, if you have not already, all of your classes and your schoolwork will be dependent on that this year. So the link that you want to go to is cuhsc.instructure.com. I will um, type that link in the description right now. And yes, please, it will be very nice if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, cuhsc.instructure.com. If you uh, click that link, it should get you to the screenshot that I have here on the left. Please sign in with your school account, your my at my.cuhsc.org email account. Otherwise, you will not have access to any of your dashboards. Additionally, if you need any help, please call this tech support number um, from CUHSD, and they will be able to help you with um, with Canvas and whatever areas, whatever technical support that you need. I'll be on this page for a few more seconds and checking the chat if there are any questions. Uh, and yeah, today is just the explanation for Canvas, where at least this meeting that Bruin to Bruin is, um, that Bruin to Bruin is presenting about. There are some other information in the other um, webinars. You can check out the ones about athletic or, um, or colleges or the senior checklist. And now let's get into the actual presentation. So the first, things that I'll be talking about is on your left hand side, your canvas, um, some of the different gadgets that you see here. I highly encourage you to open canvas in another tab or open it up on your phone so you can follow along on your dashboard with me. So first thing that I'll be going over is the calendar. Um, so first of all, you will see several um, assignments. Um, I apologize that this, these screenshots were taken last uh, yesterday and all the classes were uploaded this morning. So uh, you should see a lot more assignments and this calendar should look a lot more full for you. Um, anyways, these, you will be able to see the deadline for quizzes, tests, and, um, and all sorts of other assignments here. Uh, I did not take screenshots for some of these other things, but you can see that you're able to send, excuse me, You'll be able to send your teacher's message or receive messages from your students uh, from your teachers here. Next thing that we're going to talk about is the dashboard. So as you can see, we only have one class here, AP Comp Sci. However, you should have six or five, six or seven classes here, depending on your course load. Um, if you click on your class, you should be led to this page, your home page. Of course, this should this will look different in all of your classes because um, because this is largely based on the teacher's digression to design this however they want. You can see here that Mr. Turner um, put his own personalized message and gave you a couple links to uh, some of the useful places that, you, that he thinks will help. Next, we're going to be going down all of these pages and explaining what they each do. However, you should also understand that these um, side columns are also editable to the teachers, so they may have different um, different things that they want to add to the course. First thing that we're going to talk about is the announcement. This is where teachers will be getting their cross messages across to you. 
Next is assignments. This is uh, similar to Google Classroom. You can turn in your assignments here. Um, or the teachers might have some other um, other modes of turning things in that will be uh, that will vary from teacher to teacher. You can also see here that you can uh, divide these categories by type or by date. So Canvas is a very powerful tool. Next, we're going to talk about collaboration. This again will be dependent heavily on the teacher whether they want to divide up the all the people in the class into small groups. Um, I do not know yet how these. Um, collaborations are going to work exactly for the teachers, but they should give you additional information on the first uh, day or the first week of class. Um, next, we have discussions. This is a way for students to um, students to collaborate and talk to each other. It's pretty much an open fair, um, forum. You should understand that these forums and your messages is public to everybody. So post very carefully and know that there will be consequences of what you say here. Next, we want to go to Google Drive. I'll go over this very quickly. This is just um, a shortcut to your own Google Drive. So you can see this is the CAT account. Next, um, this is the probably the most important page and the page that you're going to be on the most, your grade. You, there are several different functions. This is the presentation of your grade. And you can see here that there are different groups and the weight of the um, of your of your assignments. There is a very neat function with Canvas that doesn't exist with School Loop is that you can test out your grade um, by clicking on here. This is a screenshot, so I cannot demonstrate it. But um, this is a very useful function to see what grade you need on the retake in order to bump up your final grade into your ideal grade. So um, that will be a function that I will use repeatedly uh, throughout the school year. Next is the modules. This is the place where, uh, another place where teachers can organize all of their assignments. Um, I anticipate most of the teachers to use this to organize their big topics. So say you have um, AP biology, maybe the first topic will be macromolecules and then we'll be uh, moving on to diffusion. And then these will be the big topics and you can expand, expand these underneath to see the individual assignments. But again, it's up to the teacher what they want to do with this function. Uh, I skipped the people's page to protect other people's privacy. And here's the syllabus page. Uh, you will know everything that you need to know about the class here, the teacher, the emails, office hours, Canvas information, um, teacher contacts, materials, um, course expectations, and things like that. So I highly encourage you to read this thoroughly before the class starts to see what you have got yourself into. And last, we have um, a Zoom page. This may not be present for all of your classes, but it is not too important. The teachers should send you a Zoom link through the inbox um, or check your email for that, school email for that, uh, for a Zoom link. It's just a shortcut for you to join the classes. So you can see all the meeting IDs are the same. So it's pretty much just the um, same Zoom code. And let me stop my recording.